Welcome to the channel PK2023. Hope everyone has a good time watching our videos. Jared Bowen fires West Ham to Europa Conference League victory. First trophy for 43 years. David Moyes was on the pitch, his arms raised above his head and his voice screaming towards the sky. Jared Bowen was off it, sprinting towards the West Ham United supporters behind the corner flag after scoring the goal of his life. Club staff were on the touchline, their suits stretched to the limit as the emotions took over their bodies and minds. This is what history looks like. This is what glory feels like. This is the beauty of football, the delight of cup competition and the joy that comes when a trophy is secured for the first time since 1980. Moyes has spent decades in management and he has seen most things in that time, but he has not seen this before. He has not experienced it before. A first a major trophy, after so many years in the dugout, in a place in East London folklore, Moyes joins Ron Greenwood and John Lyle as the only managers to win a title for West Ham. Greenwood, Lyle, Moyes. How about Bobby Moore, Billy Bonds and Declan Rice? The honor of captaining the side to a trophy was a prize that was so deserved for the England midfielder, who can now leave this summer in the knowledge that he will do so as a genuine club legend. Neither Rice nor Moyes will ever forget where they were at around 10 minutes to 11 p.m. in Prague on this June night, as the defense of Fiorentina parted and Bowen surged into the space behind them. It was a pass from Lucas Paquita that justified his club record transfer fee, and a finish from Bowen that will forever exist in West Ham's history. When the final whistle sounded just a few minutes later, Rice ran in one direction. Towards his people, his supporters. He was joined by his teammates, their eyes wide, as the night of their dreams became reality in the most dramatic of circumstances. Really, it was typical of the modern West Ham. It was hardly going to be simple, was it? Some rival clubs might wish to sneer at the Europa Conference League, to point out that it is Europe's third competition. But they would be lying if they did not admit to pangs of envy at the looks on the faces of the West Ham supporters. If football is not for nights like this, then what is it for? Let's party, Kurt Zama said, capturing the mood. As well as Bowen, there was a place on the score sheet for Seb Benrama, so often an infuriating forward but here a deadly finisher from the penalty spot. His effort had set West Ham on their way early in the second half, before the Italian struck back through Giacomo Bonaventura a few minutes later. For nine months, Across more than 11,000 miles, West Ham's European bubble has refused to burst. They have traveled from Viborg to Larnaca and so many places in between, on a modern-day footballing odyssey that has been defined by goals, victories and, at times, violence. Until this night, the violence had been inflicted upon West Ham, such as when their families and friends were attacked in Alxmar a few weeks ago. But here, for a few ugly moments, it was the Londoners who dished it out, Cristiano Birigi, the Fiorentina captain, was struck on the head by a missile from the stands, and the blood poured down his skull. The image, thankfully for West Ham, will not be the defining one of the night. There were too many snapshots of elation for that to be the case, from that moist celebration on the turf to the sight of Rice veering towards the fans, the trophy within his grasp. Players were in tears, families were on the pitch. Supporters were in disbelief. Rice will almost certainly not be seen in a West Ham shirt again, which is a source of sadness for their followers but also, in many ways, pride. What better way to bow out? What better way to say goodbye? A fairy tale of the footballing variety, and an emotional ending for a player who will now be seen as one of this club's finest ever servants. The scenes at the end provided the most extreme contrast with the angst of the match itself. This was even more tense than most observers were expecting, and most observers were expecting it to be enormously tense. In the first half it was all about shape and structure, and then at the end it was all about execution and the big moments. None were bigger than Bowens, with the ball in front of him and only Pietro Terracciano, the Fiorentina goalkeeper, in his path. Where were the Italian defenders? And, frankly, who of a West Ham persuasion cared? There were other prizes, too. Victory means that West Ham will play in next season's Europa League. 
a third consecutive European campaign. For Moyes it meant a place alongside the likes of Jock Stein, Sir Matt Busby and Sir Alex Ferguson in the list of Scottish managers who had triumphed in Europe. To think, Moyes has come perilously close to the sack on numerous occasions this season. Here, the supporters sang his name. Who knows what the long-term future holds but, whatever happens over the coming years, he and West Ham will always have Prague, Bowen's goal in this night when so many ambitions were fulfilled.